you approach the soul extractor. The assassins want you to create a spirit shard to crush a life to power a golem puppet. They are very efficient in their brutality now. It wasn't always like this. Fear used to be the primary tactic. Destroy the family of one to ensure the loyalty of all. It caused chaos, uprisings, close allies turning on each other. Those inclined to betrayal fear it the most. Imagine if you could corrupt the machine and return the chaos of disloyalty the Emperor dreads. No matter your motives, helping the assassins harms you. If you corrupt the spirit shard, you can move forward while also crippling their golems. They seek control. There used to be a chance to disobey when the order given was too harsh. The victims pointlessly innocent. Now there is only obedience. There is something chaotic enough to disrupt that. In the elevator room to come, descend to the deepest mine, to the oldest graves. Just go. The thieves await you. Remember, the deepest mines. They are closed now for being too... troublesome. That is where you will find what you need. You must be Master Gong's latest acolyte. I heard there might be a new recruit, but they typically aren't ready for service so quickly. Stripping a will can take time. But Master Gong is known for being generous to those who please him. You must be quite exceptional to be allowed into service so directly. I am a Lotus acolyte like you. My name is unimportant. I have not yet earned the right to have a title. I must prove my worth through service here. This device is the Soul Extractor. It has a loftier name, but we are here to glorify Emperor Sun through Death's hand, not pay tribute to some distant celestial lord. It is mounted on an elevator that reaches deep into the necropolis. Until recently, we excavated bodies to extract spirits that lingered near their graves. The results were... unpredictable. Now we use slaves. Freshly killed spirits make the best golems. The more painful the death, the better. The extractor is not gentle. If this really is the Emperor's bidding, he is a true villain. The Soul Extractor certainly kills whatever is placed within it, but little is left of the victim, so you cannot prove they did not belong there. Only a spirit shard remains. The Golem Press is far more dangerous, but I have nothing to do with that ungainly device. I prefer the elegance of ripping slaves apart. What kind of questions? If you must. It is a simple machine to operate. I'm sure you will come to enjoy the subtle joys of it. Slaves are placed in the extractor, and the extraction fluid produces exquisite agony. Focused by this pain, the soul is forced to crystallize into a spirit shard. That shard is implanted in a golem, infusing it with the energy of the deceased soul. Your task is the creation of a new shard for a jade golem. Do not delay. Death's hand placed the machine here. It is said the Emperor himself brought pieces of some great celestial furnace back from the heavens. I do not fully understand how it functions, but I am not meant to. I obey, and that is enough.
spirits that die in trauma can linger near their mortal form. The Empire is soaked in blood. Many restless dead haunt the necropolis. But slaves produce a better result. Only on the prison level. Many of the mines are impassable. The graves were never intended to be stable during excavation. Several have collapsed. Much of the surrounding ground is weak. We do not march too many golems at once. Even that might shake something loose. What kind of questions? Then you should select a suitable victim for the procedure. I would recommend one of the slaves on the prison level. Selecting from elsewhere could bring unfortunate results. And I would not wish to see you disgraced so early in your time with us. Use the lever to select a floor, and this platform will move there. You are free to go where you wish, but I would avoid the lower mines. They are restless. The older tombs have spirits that have festered in their hatred for ages. They are not easily controlled. That is why we use slaves to power the golems now. As well, the mines are simply not stable. Tombs can collapse, so we take care not to move too many golems at once, to avoid shaking the foundations of the fortress. You should get on with your work. Grand Inquisitor Gia is growing impatient for the Jade Golem to be completed. Select a suitable victim and create a spirit shard. Who are you? Some new acolyte? I've seen a lot of your kind. I watch over the slaves you deliver to the Extractor. The inevitability of their deaths is amusing. Haven't even earned your markings yet, I see. Master Gong must be getting weak to allow you such freedom already. Like what? They come from across the Empire. Some are brought from the south, some from the poor quarters of the city. Others are those who have merely spoken ill of us. Random selection. These people have done nothing to deserve this. Their lives before don't matter. Only their debts concern us. Death's hand is our lord and master. He holds our souls in bondage and grants us power through it. We obey him unquestioningly. He is the will of the Emperor. Inquisitor Gia is second only to Death's Hand himself. She is in charge of our work here, and she oversees our operations in the Imperial City. You will meet her in time. And when you do, pray you do not anger her. You tread dangerous ground, Acolyte. Unless you plan to speed their processing in the Extractor, you risk being punished for your impudence. They are not animals for you to imprison. You demand it? You are clearly not here as an Acolyte. If you want to die for these scrawny dogs, so be it! Thousand cuts! <laughs> Leaping you have... you have given us a chance. Please let us out. We are free, if only for a little while. There are sure to be other guards. Thank you for what you have done, but I'm not sure where to go now. The mine. The smaller one. Remember? Before they stopped digging out the graves, there was light from the surface coming in. I heard someone got away once. I don't know if they made it out of the necropolis, but it is a chance.
Thank you. I don't think we would have a chance without you. What do you want? They will be free of your cages. What? Have you lost your mind? Well, you're about to lose your life as well. This is unforgivable, Acolyte. Thousand double axes! Oh. Yeah. Thank you again for your help. We await your signal that it is safe to make our way to the mine. It is our only hope. Thank you. I did not expect to find a kind soul in this place. Assassins use slaves for their golems now, in part because of tombs like this. That was a remnant of the old empire, the spirit of an ancient invading horse lord. Zheng Sai, the tree that defies the fire, was one of many that threatened to level the imperial city. The spirit monks, your people, stopped them, or so they claimed. I gambled that the vengeful spirits of these marauders would sense if you truly are a spirit monk. So many people are not what they seem to be. I had to be certain. I had to be certain. I won't trouble you much longer. Now that you have disrupted Zheng Sai's spirit, you can take his body from his grave and use it in the extractor. Even in life, his kind were devoid of restraint. His spirit is pure chaos, 
A shard made using his ancient corpse will cripple the Jade Golem and those it commands. When you finish your master's other task, present the shard to earn passage to the inner chambers. Inside is the information you need to proceed to the palace. I, however, will not be leaving. I will make that plain soon enough. Appease your master. When you are ready to enter the inner chambers, I will tell you why your success is so important. This fortress holds many secrets. Some are valuable, some are dangerous, and some are hidden because the dark is where they belong. Safa afsoni wakwi hir fonir no ni wo yak kupti yir. Wo sa wir no swo son sir so no fonias u safa. So, you are the new trainer. You think you have something to show us? Master Shin has us test each of Gong's trainers to make sure they're skilled. But not too skilled. <laughs> am I your next student? I assure you, I am more than capable of defending myself. I was made an attendant because of my... skills. You would think to persuade us to abandon Master Shin and join Gang's pathetic faction. Then you know nothing about how true acolytes are indoctrinated. Our lives belong to Master Shin. Through his guidance, we will one day ascend to serve Grand Inquisitor Jia and Death's Hand. Our loyalty is absolute. We are nothing without our duty to Master Shin. Perhaps Gong is more lenient and left your mind untouched. But that is why he is weak. Oh, don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. Let's move this fight to the Hall of Induction so I have room to enjoy this. The life of an acolyte is forfeit when they walk into this place, yes. But for one of Gong's ragged minions to do this is unforgivable. 
Do you think you can make such an insult and disguise it as a simple training mishap? You are a fool. If you are ready, trainer, your next student is waiting. It is my task to make examples of Gong's acolytes who show too much promise. My skills are above question. Gong is about to lose another of his pitiful acolytes. Come, let's move to the hall, and I will end this. Killed Kai Fane? But he was fully trained. Such insolence will not go unpunished. We'll make an example of you soon enough. Your corpse will be dragged before your master. But Kai Fane was a full assassin. How could he have fallen? Shut up. This fool will pay. You'll see. You'll regret this. Lotus Acolyte of Gong, we must make an example of you. You have insulted the attendants of Master Shin's entourage. The Masters do not care whether Acolytes live or die, so it is up to us to avenge the deaths of our fellows. We will not appear weak. We are the attendants of Master Shin. You will die as penance for your insult. Your death will be an example to all of Gong's fools. That was an impressive display, Acolyte. I've never seen Shin's attendants so handily dismissed. Master Shin's enemies are probably very impressed with your actions. I can only speculate, of course. Hmm. I speculate that Master Gong is something of an ass. So you were done with the extractor? That spirit shard will allow the Jade Golem to control a battalion of clay golems. Eliminate Shin, and I will present you to Gia. The inner chambers are not usually accessible to Acolytes, but you have proven a valuable ally. You will go far in the Lotus Assassins. Have you not been paying attention? I cannot act directly against Master Shin. If I do, we are all dead. It is that simple. Acolytes falling to other Acolytes is to be expected. It is how the weak are filtered out. My actions would make it a war. Yes, I am aware. When you have finished your other task for me, I will let you present it in the inner sanctum of the fortress. That will be a great honor for a Lotus Acolyte. You may even meet Grand Inquisitor Gia. Finish the task I have given, Acolyte. Find a creative way to disgrace and kill Master Shin.
Sai Iyo Lucy, Wo Nika Wo No Yu. Wo Nawa Ir Sun Punao, Poku Narawa Iruguk. My own demons distract me in this place, but I hold no love for your new master or the master above him. If you kill one, why not two? Distractions are the key to weakness in a target. If you look to the future, Master Gong will have his plans come crashing down on him. So, you are the new Lotus Acolyte under Master Gong. No one else has reason to be here. He was quick to favor you. Your recruits are typically held in isolation. I will instruct you on the use of the Golem Present Crane. Forming the Golems is an honored task that elevates us above slaves and mere servants. Press is simple to use. Using this machine, we can create a legion of warrior Golems in a day. So the army can grow fast, but under whose authority? This is only one step. Here we create husks devoid of energy. Each golem needs a spirit shard to move, and a jade golem must guide them all. For each shard, a spirit must be reduced to its essence. For a time, we use those that lingered near their graves, mining them as if they were silver. No longer. The recently dead make a stronger, more obedient golem, if the death is painful. With a Jade Golem guiding them, legions act as one, utterly obedient. The Extraction Chamber is a far more interesting place to work. The screams over there are music. Here we have only the creaking of clay. You nearly saw one as you entered, but they are rare. Falling victim to an obvious danger like a dropped Golem or worse, the press would take a monumental fool. The machines are loud and you can see the operator from anywhere in the room. A past victim of the press suffered more damage after the incident than during it. Reputations are very important in the Lotus Assassin Order. Falling victim to the press would cause a loss in status almost fatal in and of itself. The press is simple to operate, you select the type of body at the first station. Once the material is poured, it is funneled to the press. The press serves as a mold and a kiln. In short order, it can be opened and the new body is ready to be moved. The crane controls are at the end of the ramp. You can experiment with each station if you want, but you may as well reduce what you produce to rubble. There are no shards to power any more golems for now. You test my patience, Acolyte. You do not need to know much. We can make husks right now, but there will be no more spirit shards until the Jade Golem is completed. You test my patience. I will return to my tasks. Yes, Acolyte? Why have you chosen to disturb me instead of working on the tasks I have set before you? Hmm. An interesting idea. It has happened before, and the victim was certainly considered a fool for letting it occur. But it's impossible. You may as well try and drop one of the golems on him. He would never be so distracted as to enter the press. We are Lotus assassins, after all. A possibility. But Shin does not leave the inner chambers often, only to inspect the new slave shipments arriving in the Hall of Induction. You would have to 
close a great many eyes to get away with an assassination in the hall and moving the body to the press, but it would certainly send a message. The hall cleared of all witnesses, the press operator distracted, and the slave shipment stopped outside in the necropolis before it arrives. A daunting list of tasks. Do it quietly, but use force where you must. Succeed, and I will introduce you to Grand Inquisitor Gia in the inner chambers. A rare honor for an acolyte. Finish the task I have given, acolyte. What do you want? Is that so? Why should I step aside for a new blood acolyte? I have my own position to think about and I will not be so easily replaced. If you bring an order from Master Gang, I will relent, as he is my master too. Until then, I am not moving. I see. The ways of the Order are mysterious and brutal. If an opening is created away from witnesses, all of us under him will benefit. I understand. I will tend to the golems that are being readied for the Jade Golem's command. I do not think I will be able to return to this room today. But... A thought occurs to me. If one opening raises us all, two openings will raise us further. If something were to befall the good master... Just something you might want to ponder. Kia upo. O siwane a sa ia saka ku usawa ia nu pak poparo. O so au ia ni tu o uksumpu. O asafno sa situ no ko ota napia ifa ia ok. What do you want now, acolyte? Unless the press is damaged, you have no reason to speak with us. You are right to marvel at its stability. It is a machine in balance. Only errors of its operators have damaged it before. Several foolish acolytes were killed for damaging it. It's not so hard to use properly. All you do is work the crane and occasionally add Phoenix oil to the material selector. The measure of oil has been wrong too often. Kia Jong gives it out too freely. I will see to it that your kind are only given pre-measured containers of it.
Gong needs to better train his acolytes. You were obviously rushed through the initiation process. Phoenix oil is a viscous liquid that burns at an incredible temperature. It heats the press to cure the golem husks. If there's too much in the machine, it burns too hot. Too little and the golems crumble. The merchant brings the oil from the craftsmen of the Golden Delta. That is unfortunate, because the needs of an acolyte are of little concern. Our tasks are done for the day, but Grand Inquisitor Gia could request us at any time. We must be ready to respond if the Golem Press malfunctions. Nothing short of her order or an emergency repair will move us. Step away, Acolyte. You are of no concern to us. Leave us, Acolyte. Ah, are you the student I am waiting for? I can't delay any longer. I cannot miss the window of opportunity for a summoning. As I was saying, golems are playthings devoid of cunning. The latest stockpile stands idle, waiting for a jade golem to make them useful. The waste. I will show Grand Inquisitor Gia that tapping the spirit realm for servants is more efficient. Witness as I effortlessly summon an able minion from the void. There are hardly any preparations needed, Acolyte. They want to serve. They tell me so. Golems want nothing. Watch and learn. Ukir sitaka wuwir, wosayir yufraun! No, no! This isn't right! Destroy them! saw nothing of this. Nothing. I... I have to continue my research before Gia knows of my failure. Oh, I know it can work. Birshat uk mi uksa ia sun puno kahon wo ushishia uksa hia ka. Wasraf no sasitu no ko otra napia ifa ia ok. Ea pafawe ea. There. Stand aside, or risk the ire of the Lotus Assassins. These prisoners must be delivered to the fortress to be inspected by Master Shin. I will not allow you to make me late.
And why is that? Keep your reason short, or you'll be dead before you're done. You are mad to test an assassin. I'll kill you where you stand. Double axes! Are you taking us to the Lotus Assassins? What? Thank you. Thank you so much. I knew someone would stop them. Someone kind and honest. A charitable act. I'm impressed. Thank you. What do you want now, Acolyte? Unless the press is damaged, you have no reason to speak with us. What? Which one of you idiots threw off the mixture? Ugh, it doesn't matter. Three days calibrating it for perfect clay husks, and some new blood fool ruins it in an instant. The supports for the mold injectors will be charred. We'll have to find a smith to forge new ones. Ugh, what a mess. I don't need you to tell me that, Acolyte. I swear, I'm going to recommend that your kind never touch it again. So much wasted work. If we don't get it fixed, Geo will have us slaughtered. I know, I know. We need to go to the market district and find a smith. Come on. We're wasting time. What is going on here? Where are my slaves? The golems require spirit shards. And where are my attendants? Delays and laziness will be repaid in blood. No one disobeys the orders of Shen. You? You are Gang's new acolyte. I see what is happening here. You think to promote your master by threatening me. You are bold, but foolish. You thought to make me vulnerable by killing my attendants and emptying the hall? A miscalculation. I am a favorite of Grand Inquisitor Gia. You will die. Double axes. Focus. tragedy has reached my ears. Our respected Master Shin has met his end in a rather embarrassing fashion. I came quickly after hearing of his stumble. Perhaps it was the cold of the sanctum that made him careless and dulled his senses. Open the press. I will make certain he's dead, but not from too close. I don't want to share his tragically foolish fate. Yes, quite dead. How unfortunate. We should honor our fallen comrade. I am distracted. Our thoughts of who will take his place. I think the choice is up.
You are nearing your goal. Grand Inquisitor Gia keeps many secrets in the inner chambers. Enough to appease the princess and earn your way to the palace. But you may learn more than she wants to know. I know that I did. Many years ago. You know that Master Li tried to stop his brother and failed. I was not there to witness that, so I only have the details that you are aware of yourself. Hui in Tian's Landing told you that in response to that act, Master Li's wife was condemned to death. She was with child at the time. This I know for certain. I was there. I was one of the elite ordered to kill Master Li's family. I would not want to own the guilt for such an act. I pity you. Death's hand brought the order to kill the family. We were cowards if we could not see the wisdom of his order. It was the will of the Emperor. I could not question the orders. They could not be wrong. Dirge was burning. Your master had fled, and we stood over a woman who had just given birth. I hesitated, and she was killed. For years I wondered what kind of creature could issue such an order, and what I was for following it. It was easier to be a coward than to question the Empire. Now I understand, and I hope I have shown you as well. They broke a sacred trust. I have returned because of that, even though I know what Death's Hand is. My fate is sealed, but one secret must live on. I killed them all, my fellow assassins. I would not let them finish their mission. Master Lee's child still lives. You there! You are Master Gong's new Lotus Acolyte, correct? Master Gong has kept Grand Inquisitor Gia waiting for too long. Where is he? Fools. They had more important things to do than worry about their personal stations. My station is at risk if Gia does not get her Jade Golem. You were Gong's acolyte. You deal with this, and get me the spirit shard I require. Since your master is dead, you may present it in the ritual. Bring it to the doors of the inner chamber. Finish whatever business you have in this place. Grand Inquisitor Gia may alter your duties. 